Oh, good morning. How many people here from Kentucky? Ooh, uh, well, Mike, I'm going to take 15 seconds to uh, pander to the audience a little bit and, uh, and show for some votes. Um, I bring you greetings from the northernmost county of Appalachia, Mahoning County. And uh, we talk a little different up there. We don't say hi, y'all. We say, hey, how you doing? <laughs> Pleased to be here, though, from, uh, from uh, the northernmost tier. Um, uh, we'll skip through this faculty disclosure slide. I think it's not necessary. Um, but if you'd like to pay us, we would be happy. <laughs> <laughs> well, let me start out by, uh, the story starts in 1919, actually. Uh, and I'll fast forward quickly. <laughs> to stay within our 10 minute limit. Uh, in 1919, uh, the Ohio legislature enacted uh, the Hughes-Griswold Act and uh, it really restructured public health and uh, it's still the structure for public, local public health in Ohio to this day for the most part. And they did that uh, because at the time there were over 500 local boards of health in Ohio and our experience with the 1918, 1990, 19 Spanish flu pandemic was not encouraging and in fact encouraged uh, showed the need for restructuring public health in Ohio. When I started my public health career as a local health officer in 1988, there were 154 health districts in Ohio. Over the last 24 years, that number has been reduced to 125. So there is a slow but steady trend towards consolidating of smaller local health departments with their larger county health districts in Ohio. This, uh, this, this trend uh, accelerated in, in, in recent years with the election of Governor John Kasich, who um, in the state biennial budget adopted last year, uh, imposed severe cuts on local government funding to all levels of local government, township and municipal and county as well. And at the same time created a carrot for governments to collaborate for shared services in the form of an incentive fund. That uh, incentive, those carrots and sticks, uh, along with some events that followed, are uh, what bring us up to the present day. Um, last uh, summer, I believe it was, when I announced my intention to retire as Mahoney County Health Commissioner come this spring, uh, the uh, regional daily newspaper, the Youngstown Vindicator, renewed its call for the two health departments to merge in Mahoney County. When I started, there were four health departments in Mahoney County. Over the years, we uh, acquired, is probably the correct word, because they were very small health departments, two other uh, cities, and leaving two health districts, health departments in Mahoney County, uh, serving a total of about 250,000, of a quarter of a million people. Uh, my retirement, as well as the retirement of my colleague, uh, uh, Neil Altman, uh, earlier in, uh, last year, uh, encouraged uh, both sides, township and municipal, to reconsider a, uh, a subject that had been brought up uh, on and off over the years, but uh, with, with no result. Also, there was an, an immediate success story as far as merging mer uh, a large metropolitan areas, health departments in Akron and Summit that many people pointed to. So uh, I, I expected uh, this to happen, and uh, when it did, um, I met, uh, I was asked to meet with the mayor of Youngstown and the representatives of my, uh, my health district who were township trustees, rural and suburban unincorporated areas. And um, they asked me to, uh, to give them some evidence, some information about uh, the costs and benefits and mechanisms of consolidating two fairly large health departments uh, with uh, a total of 75 uh, public health employees and about uh, $7.5 million in expenditure between the two of them. I asked them to give me a month to put something together. And what I did was to, uh, to look at um, the literature. The first thing you do is to go to do a literature search. And I did that uh, and, and I, by reaching out to some of the uh, academic uh, colleagues and friends that I've made through my involvement with the Practice-Based Research Network in Ohio. And you know, the names are those you might expect, uh, Glenn Mays, Dr. Peggy Honore, and Mike Morris. I'm being beamed up right now, in case you didn't know. <laughs> so if, if I disappear, take over for me, Mike. <laughs> the, the, the results of the literature search were uh, suggestive of some of the costs and benefits and impact on health of consolidating health departments, but were no means conclusive. 
what I realized I needed to do was to get some data. And we actually have some data on finance and workforce in Ohio that's quite good, and it was readily available to me. Uh, I took a look at the data and uh, have enough methodological skill to, consume, uh, to, uh, to, uh, to conceive of a study design, but uh, lack the skills to carry out a, a thorough analysis. And that's where I turned to my colleague, Mike Morris, and uh, that's my testimonial to the PBRN. At this point, Mike's going to take us through what he found. And uh, as Matt brought up, uh, one of the key things that made this uh, type of uh, analysis even conceivable in the first place was the state of Ohio has a mandatory reporting for all uh, local health departments uh, that they report their financial data in a uh, standardized format. So we were able to obtain uh, financial information on a matched set of counties and uh, local uh, independent health departments in order to be able to conduct this analysis. And what we did was, uh, unfortunately, uh, one of the things that we've uh, hasn't been pointed out was uh, the nature of the review that Matt uh, was uh, charged with uh, by uh, his uh, county uh, leaders and. Uh, the Youngstown City Board uh, was not just about this, but a much broader uh, review of the issues. So this is uh, the financial uh, element. So he had a month to do this, but only one part of it. Uh, so we had even a quicker turnaround, only maybe a week, a little more, uh, to be able to put together the financials uh, because, uh, as Dr. Brownson pointed out, there were a lot of other issues that had to be considered, particularly the po policy and political environments uh, and uh, economic uh, realities of the communities that had to be taken into account in his report. But uh, we moved forward with a, a, a quick uh, and dirty sort of uh, matched uh, sample. What we drew was uh, six uh, consolidated uh, health departments uh, the, at the county level in Ohio and then matched it with five counties that have multiple uh, uh, health departments within them and not a single unified uh, health department. Then we aggregated uh, expenditure levels to the county level and uh, then uh, ran uh, some uh, regression type modeling to uh, predict costs across the two uh, bodies. And uh, this is uh, what I call policy analysis work uh, because you're really working within the confines of time more than uh, trying to get the best methodological design because we just didn't have time. But that's uh, where we're going next is to try and conduct this with a much more uh, robust methodological approach. Uh, and what we came out with was it appears that there's roughly 10% reduction in administrative costs uh, for consolidation over uh, their aggregate uh, uh, independent uh, uh, local health departments. Uh, are there uh, benefits for overall expenditures? Well, we were uh, getting uh, some indications that there may be some cost savings, but not, uh, there are still some concerns, uh, particularly methodologically. We only had data that we were able to put together and control variables that we were able to assemble for one year, so it was a cross-sectional analysis. We want to uh, conduct this on a longitudinal basis with a much more robust uh, methodological design. Uh, so perhaps there were some cost savings to be uh, garnered. And also we found that uh, local uh, health departments that were independent Gain, were able to garner more independent, you know, more local dollars for their operations than uh, larger consolidated county health departments. And now I'll turn it back over to Matt. 
And I'll be a re real brief because Paul Irwin is cracking the whip down there. Uh, further. <laughs> it looks like a whip. <laughs> uh, the bottom line is uh, this analysis, this quick and dirty analysis, bought us some time and a tempered expectations about the costs and benefits of consolidating health departments. We were able to answer, uh, give some rough estimates of the impact on, 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 pol on uh, financial impacts of a policy change like this. And uh, I, I, like Mike Stern, we, we grounded policymakers' expectations in some reality from the data. Uh, there's enough evidence there, however, for us to continue discussions and negotiations between the two parties, and those negotiations have resumed and will continue beyond my ten tenure, certainly, but I think they will be fruitful and uh, they'll be evidence-based, whatever decisions they make, I am hoping. Thank you.